Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. And I want to start off by saying thank you for all the love and support that we received after posting the previous video. It is so encouraging to see that people are hungry for the word, that they want to hear the word of God. And I'm so excited for what the Lord is going to do with this platform, with this channel, and specifically with these videos every single Sunday. I think the Lord has big plans for this. And also there are people that need to hear these things. So I'm honored to be in the position to be able to share that word with you. So the subject that I'm going to minister on today, I've had in my heart for many years and I just haven't been released from that. And that is just a sign that the Holy Spirit wants to share this with so many more people. So we're going to look at Hebrews 11 verse 1, which reads the following. That faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So I want to take you back to the time I had my accident. I was 24 years old. I had the world at my feet. I was this young, active guy. And then all of a sudden, I got paralyzed and I'm placed in a wheelchair. And I was in, in rehabilitation. And the Lord just gave me that verse. He had me believe that there is something more, that none of this is a surprise to him, that I need to look past my current circumstances. I need to look past what I see with my physical eyes. And I need to see with my spirit that the Lord still has a plan for me, that he still has hope for me. As Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, I have plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. And that is the basis of faith. That is the basis of Hebrews 11 verse 1. That the Lord has a plan for us all. And we must believe and look past our current circumstances. I know there are people facing you know, bankruptcy or your parents are getting divorced or all sorts of challenges in life. But I need you to look past that. Because for a long time I, I prayed to the Lord and asked Him, when is my breakthrough? When is my time coming? And I can assure you that your breakthrough is already assigned to your life. And I need to tell someone watching this that you need to have faith, faith in God, that your breakthrough is coming. He has your name. He has your address. And I also want to tell you that God is never late. He is never, never late. He is always just on time. So whatever you are trusting for, whatever your circumstances are right now, you need to believe that the Lord still has a plan for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. Our only job is just to believe that, to have faith in what is to come, to have faith that he has something better planned for us. And it's not the, our current circumstances. We need to be able to look past that. Just as I was in a, in a deep, dark hole, I was faced with depression, you know, suicide, anxiety, no hope, no future. I knew the Lord was going to come, come through for me. I knew he had something better planned for me and I just held on to that. So I want to encourage you, hold on to what the Lord has planned for you. Even though you might not know what it is right now. I can promise you it is something good. It is the good news that he has promised us in the word of God. Okay, guys, that is all that I have for you today. And thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening to this broadcast and being a part of, of what the Lord is doing here right now. As I said, I'm really excited about this. I cannot wait for what he has to share with us next. But I'll see you in a few days for another video and have a good week.